Hello and welcome to Fenextra TV's Thought Leadership Series. I'm Hannah Wallace and calling into our virtual studio now is Lynn Zeldenrick, Worldwide Innovation Lead, Financial Services at Amazon Web Services. So welcome, Lynn. Thank you very much for calling in. Hi, Hannah. Thank you very much for having us. No problem at all. So you're kicking off our digital innovation series with AWS, and I really want to start talking about adoption in cloud strategies. So let's start there. How advanced are financial institutions in adopting cloud strategies, and what role does it have in developing cutting-edge new products and services? And do you think this is a real game-changer in the space that we needed? So... If I think about it, I think it's a really interesting point in time for our industry. So what we're seeing is really a once in a generation shift and that's exciting. Um, but it's also challenging because the pace of change that we're seeing is really unprecedented. And so financial services institutions are really trying to think about how they do business differently and changing their business models. So. I think to your question, we're seeing it in two spaces. So financial services organisations uh, who are still running their core systems on legacy on-premise um, infrastructure are starting to see uh, fairly significant challenges in terms of keeping up with that uh, pace of change and demand from customers. On the other side, we're seeing financial institutions on the cloud really accelerating and being able to rapidly stand up dev test environments, being able to experiment around new ideas very quickly and being able to deliver new products and services to their customers quite effectively and efficiently. And importantly, being able to innovate when they uh, get feedback from their customers around that very easily. So I think that cloud it is a game changer and it's a game changer really because of the breadth of services that we see. So if you think about the analytics, machine learning, compliance and security, um, the personalization services, compute at scale, all of those are either new or enhanced services for our industry to do business in a better way. And so I think it is a game changer. I do think um, it's important, though, to realise with this point in time that the industry is at, that also it's not just about the technology, it's equally about uh, people and culture. And so there's a few pockets um, and areas of uh, that we see customers really excel in this, where they've got a couple of key things in common. The first is that they've got really uh, senior strategic alignment around what their cloud strategy is. And that really enables them to set up clear directions and goals, um, top-down goals, often aggressive goals that really help guide their organisations through what is quite a big change for the industry. And then broader than the leadership, it's also about teams and the workforce. And so organisations who are training their teams to around cloud, upskilling them and also getting them comfortable with it, are seeing the most effective change in terms of what they're actually delivering to their customers. And then finally, I think uh, what's really important is that it does take some time. And so organisations that have a clear plan what do they want to build and move now versus the media in the long term? Um, and getting very clear on that for their organisations and seeing really effective rollout of this change. Mm -hmm. Well, you've certainly set the scene for us there. And I think you'll agree uh, from a product perspective, banks need more creativity and innovation, don't they? So delivering products to market more speedily and efficiently than they have done is essential. Um, so how does the use of cloud drive this? Where does that fit in? So I think cloud really drives innovation in four different ways. Um, the first one I think is really agility. So the ability to be able to scale up hundreds or thousands of servers, often in minutes, is quite different and it's that is game changing. And so it also means for customers that they can also really deprovision that without risk um, if they're looking to change direction. So you can both spin it up and spin it down. 
The second is really around elasticity. So we see a lot of our uh, customers have peak reporting periods, for example. So having that elasticity to be able to um, really have the capacity for those peak periods, but then not need it all the time is really quite changing for our customers. To the um, point around people and culture, I also think the third way that cloud drives innovation is if you can redeploy those resources from maintaining the infrastructure to actually building um, new effective services for your customers, then you're able to really spend that time on delivering to your customers rather than maintaining the infrastructure. And then finally, the fourth um, important point, I think, with cloud for our customers in financial services who often have a global footprint is that global deployment. So if you create a new product or a new service for customers, being able to spread that across your regions and to your customer base is really important to be able to do that effectively and at speed. So um, if I think about that and if I think about the work that we do with customers, uh, we sometimes see customers coming to us where they've perhaps become a little risk averse. Um, they may have run a multi-year, multi-million investment in an MVP and it's failed or they've had a couple um, and that's pretty hard for teams and that's pretty hard to maintain that innovation culture uh, that opportunity and appetite to try and do different things for customers and so what we try and do is work with customers to run often multiple parallel experiments essentially very inexpensively sometimes for hundreds or just a thousand dollars and experiment and learn from those experiments and then those that work we can scale up very effectively and quickly for their customer base but it means you can spend hundreds on multiple experiments rather in a quick short period of time and that really um, I think changes the approach to innovation within banks um, and our other financial services customers and so it's really exciting to see what's happening with data in the cloud. I think it's never been easier than it is now in terms of being able to collect, to store, to analyze data, to be able to share data. Um, and that's not just about cost savings, that's actually about how you can use data to deliver new products and more effective services to your customers. A great example of that that we're seeing is IHS Market, their data management platform they built on AWS. Um, that's really allowed them to do just that, to redeploy those resources away from the purchase and stand up of data centers and focusing instead on their core business, which is to provide data management solutions to the industry. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's safe to say watch this space. I'm really excited developments ahead then, Lynn. Um, but thank you so much for calling in and uh, painting the picture for us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Terrific, thank you very much.